It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Sunday, the 24th of January. I'm Michael Groff. Showers around this morning, then we'll start to see a decrease in activity as we go through the day today. The sun might even peak out a little bit this afternoon. A brief lull in showers tonight. And then our main event comes in here tomorrow where you might very well see almost all possible observable weather in a 24-hour time span here in Phoenix. We could see patchy fog, some sun, rain, thunderstorms, maybe some strong thunderstorms that produce gusty winds and small hail. And then later tomorrow night and early Tuesday, perhaps some snowflakes across the metro. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Let's see if we can answer some of your questions that you have as we dive in and take a look at it. First, yesterday in the valley, 64 degrees was the afternoon high. That low temperature of 52, that occurred at 11.59 p.m. We also picked up one one hundredth of an inch of rain officially in the bucket at Sky Harbor yesterday. So far this morning, at least through 9 a.m., we've had another 19 hundredths of an inch. So we're tacking on to that storm total. And as we take a look outside right now, here just after 9 o'clock, we've got mostly cloudy sky, some light showers coming down at the airport, and currently sitting at 48 degrees out there. Dew point at 45, relative humidity 87%. The winds are calm, and the barometer is rising. Temperatures this morning, 41 is the cool spot up there on Thompson Peak. Otherwise, we are in the mid-40s to mid-50s through much of the metro. As we take a look at the radar this morning here just after 9 o'clock, you can see those scattered showers moving through the valley and still some activity off to our west and southwest. So we will continue to see off and on showers through the morning and early afternoon hours. Maybe a few thunderstorms pop up as well as this cold core system moves across the area later this afternoon. And you can see that system here on the upper air analysis this morning across Southern California and Northern Baja. And that will move through and continue the unsettled weather as it does. And then a follow-up system very quickly dives in tomorrow and Tuesday. And that, again, will bring us our best chance of precipitation and, yes, those low-elevation snows. All right, here's the watch warning map. A number of dense fog advisories across much of Texas and Oklahoma. Some winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings for the Plain States. And out here in the west across northern and eastern Arizona, winter storm warnings ongoing. The snow will come down and be measured in feet. For places like Payson and Flagstaff, again, there could be some spots that see well over two to perhaps as much as two and a half or three feet of snow before it's all said and done. Also, we have wind advisories across southwest Arizona and southeast California, as we are expecting to see some very windy conditions tomorrow with that extremely cold system coming in. The convective outlook for today, a slight risk of severe storms, again, across north Texas and southern Oklahoma around the Dallas-Fort Worth area a marginal risk for the adjacent states there. Here in Arizona, no severe weather is expected today, but thunder is possible, and some of that thunder could put down some small hail and some locally gusty winds. And here's the precipitation outlook. This is valid through next Sunday morning from the WPC. Rain amounts in Phoenix around an inch to an inch and a quarter or so. And of course, still very heavy totals up north, coming down mainly in the form of snow, especially up there above 4,000 to 5,000 feet. You're just going to get hammered up along the rim for the next few days. All right, let's get into this crazy weather pattern here, and we'll take a look at modeling, see what's going on. This is the GFS, the 06Z run valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. There's our cold core system coming through, opening up as a wave here by later this afternoon. It'll be weakening a little bit, but the cold air aloft comes right overhead. So down at the surface, cloudy sky this morning. Becoming partly sunny this afternoon, rain showers this morning, then scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms this afternoon. And again, if you get parked under one of those storms, could put down some locally heavy rain and some small hail. Highs today, not much warmer than we've been. In fact, uh, some spots may have already seen their high temperature. We'll be somewhere in the mid to perhaps upper 50s, and that's about it. Tonight, a few evening showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm. Then we turn partly cloudy with patchy, dense fog developing overnight. Lows in the 40s. And then tomorrow, get ready for a wild ride here because we could see just about every kind of weather condition on the table. We start out with patchy, dense fog in the morning. Scattered showers around and they will become more widespread. We'll see more of a stratified rain event setting in through the day. That's what we know for now. But let's talk about some of the variables that are at play that could make things a lot more interesting. We have a very cold and dynamic system approaching. You can see the upper heights plunging to around 531 decameters across northwest Arizona tomorrow afternoon. The air mass aloft, extremely cold, maybe near record cold for this part of the country. 
with uh, temperatures at 18,000 feet around minus 32 to minus 34 Celsius. So cold, very unstable air, a vigorous system. And so our high resolution models are hinting at the idea that if we get, get some breaks in the clouds in the midday or afternoon hours tomorrow, we may see what we call a quasi linear convective system or squall line developing tomorrow afternoon along our cold front. If that should happen, uh, we could see some strong thunderstorms that produce gusty, damaging straight line wind, maybe some hail or other precipitation types as well, just a little bit in higher elevations. We could see some grapple, some snow, ice pellets, whatever out of all of that uh, with this squall line tomorrow afternoon. That's a little bit uncertain, of course. We're not necessarily saying that's going to happen just yet. We'll know a little bit better as we get closer to tomorrow. But that is a possibility that's out there. Certainly the jet dynamics are in play, as you can see off the GFS. So very strong winds aloft. It's all coming together nicely for a very active day weather-wise tomorrow. Now, it just might be a plain old rainy day and we don't see any thunderstorms. That's the most likely scenario. Uh, but this, uh, with a cold front and a very vigorous system like this, just about anything is on the table. Now, once that cold front does come through, Temperatures plunge, and that means snow levels will be plunging with this unstable air still sitting overhead. Uh, we will see the snow levels go to as low as 2,000 to 2,500 feet tomorrow night, and that means much of the outskirts of the greater Phoenix area, again, above 2,000 to 2,500 feet, including Scottsdale, the McDowell Mountains, Carefree, Cave Creek, Fountain Hills, Anthem, uh, they are likely to see rain changing to snow at times, could even see some light accumulations, one to two inches of snow, maybe around Wickenburg, a little bit more than that out there in northwest Maricopa County. So an unusual setup for sure. Now, tomorrow, also what we should highlight, too, is that it's going to be cold and windy just outside of thunderstorms with that front approaching. Southeast winds will pick up in the morning. They'll become southwest 10 to 25 miles an hour. Could see some gusts to 35 miles per hour. Those are just gradient non-thunderstorm winds. And high temperatures are only going to be in the mid-40s to low-50s across the area. That's it. Just a raw, cold day. Now let's go to Tuesday. And again, this cold air mass aloft is still overhead, so we'll have rain and snow showers likely in the morning, then rain showers in the afternoon. They'll be more scattered in nature by that point as we start to see things tapering off. And high temperatures, again, only in the upper 40s to low-50s. Now, Tuesday night, as the skies clear, uh, it's going to get cold. Overnight lows drop into the 20s in the colder pockets, low to mid-30s in the urban core. So there is a possibility we see a pretty widespread freeze. It'll depend on moisture levels. If the moisture still hangs around, probably just sort of a foggy night. But if we see some drier air come in, uh, it could get a little bit colder than uh, some of our model guidance is suggesting. Then on Wednesday, we really start to dry out. Temperatures warm up a bit. We're back in the mid and upper 50s with partly sunny sky. Thursday, mostly cloudy sky. High temperatures in the mid 60s, maybe upper 60s. Friday, mostly cloudy sky. The GFS has slowed down the onset of this next system that's coming through here. So probably we stay dry for the majority of the day. Then by Friday night, showers becoming likely once again across much of the state with mountain snows. This system is not nearly as cold as uh, the system coming through here today or tomorrow and Tuesday. So uh, this will not be quite as efficient a pre precipitation producer, but still a fairly good chance of rain and mountain snow. And then Saturday morning, still have the rain around here. And high temperatures on Saturday look to be, again, probably in the upper 50s to low 60s. Things cool off a bit and we stay below average temperature wise. Then here's a week from today. This is Sunday, the 31st. Another system off the Pacific Northwest coast, a very potent cold system at that, ridging to our east, a southwesterly flow in here. Still plenty of clouds around. Temperatures getting a little bit closer to seasonal averages, though. And then as we look out 10 days, this is Tuesday, the 2nd of February. And again, another system is poised to come on in. Very vigorous short wave diving down into the Great Basin and along the California coast. So, Hey, another round of unsettled weather could be coming in here for the first week of February. All right, let's take a look at rainfall coming off of the GFS Ensemble for the next couple of weeks here in Phoenix. And again, the Ensemble mean pretty close to an inch and a half. So it'll be wet. You've got model spread that ranges from 8 tenths of an inch all the way up to about 3.4 inches. In fact, there are three model members here in the Ensemble that are over three inches of rain. My goodness. 
And then, for the heck of it, let's take a look at the snow output for the Phoenix area coming off of the European Ensemble. You got 51 members, about 10 of them are showing measurable snow in Phoenix. So not too likely that we'll see any. This is, again, at Sky Harbor Airport, but if I show you this is Mesa Gateway Airport, the European Ensemble, every single member has measurable snow. And I want to make sure that I emphasize I am not saying for sure it is going to snow anywhere in the greater Phoenix area, but the possibility, the atmospheric conditions are probably the most favorable that they ever get for snowfall to occur somewhere around the Phoenix metro or the surrounding area. All right, let's check out temperatures off the European Ensemble and highs getting very chilly. In fact, it's got us at 49 on Tuesday and then gradually warming it up after that, but kind of yo-yoing temperatures still mostly remaining below average through at least the first week of February. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning, updates before that if necessary. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and click that notification bell so that whenever a brand new video is posted, you'll get the notice. Your comments, questions, and suggestions always encouraged as well. Thanks so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. You guys be safe out there and have yourselves a wonderful Sunday.